The record crowd of over 48,000 here at the Saikama Super Arena still trying to fully comprehend what we just saw between Mark Hunt and Vanderlei Silva. Morandi, the natural couture, and Voss Rutin. It is time for the main event to finally unify the Pride Heavyweight Championship of the World and determine the 2004 Heavyweight Tournament Championships. And Randy, two of the very best heavyweights in the world are going to go at it. What are your thoughts on this man right here from Brazil, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira? Just a, just a master submission expert. You don't find anybody in MMA better that can find a way to win a fight, to put the fight where he needs to put it and win. He is the best submission guy in the game right now. When talking to Nogueira, he said that he's worked on a special punch knee combination for a million ankle. It'll be interesting to see if he'll be able to use it tonight. It is time for the main event here at Pride Fighting Championships. Hajime Shockwave, Moro Ranello, along Nogueira with El Wapo Boss Rudin and Brazil special Brazil guest Brazil. commentator, UFC Brazil. light heavyweight Brazil. champion Brazil. Randy Brazil. the Natural Brazil. Couture. And before we get started, it's time for the respective national anthems of Brazil and Russia. Please remain standing for the Russian national anthem. Fyodor Emelianenko and Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Time to finish what they started at Final Conflict 2004. Unify the Pride Heavyweight Championship. And also, of course, the 2004 Pride Heavyweight Tournament Championship also on the line. And here is Pride Executive Nobuhiko Takada. Pride Heavyweight Champion. エミリアエンコ・ヒョードル選手対プライド暫定ヘビー級チャンピオンアントニオ・ホドリゴ・ノウェラ選手の試合は12月30日13時ルールディレクター立ち会いのもと厳正なる権利を及び身体検査の結果
ただいまより第11試合を行います青コーナー 191cm102.8kg アントニオ・ホドリゴ・ノゲラアントニオ・ホドリゴ・ミノトロ・ノゲラ 28-63-227-pounds-12-0-1-in-pride-fighting-championships-Emilia-Yang-Hyodo! Fyodor Emelianenko's 28-6-feet-233-pounds-8-0 with one no contest in Pride-fighting-championships. All right, Randy and Boss, it's time to finish what they started at Final Conflict 2004, crown the 2004 Heavyweight Tournament Champion, and also tonight unify the Pride World Heavyweight Championship. You see the record crowd of 48,398. This is the main event of Shockwave. It should be a classic. What, what do you think, by the way, when the referee touches their forehead, what he's looking for? Uh, Vaseline. Oh. Yeah, because he's, he's like uh, blessing them all. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that right low kick. Oh, oh nice. By a million toss by a million echo. So strong. The crowd still buzzing by what we saw oh. between Silva and Hunt, but now the focus completely on this main event between Emelianenko and Noguera, and we've seen this before. Hey, that's, uh, nice stop. He, he looked at the front of my Silva. <laughs> he might try the atomic butt drop there for a second. <laughs> it wasn't the fact that they don't use it. <laughs> Noguera, of course, has worked with the Cuban national boxing team. Emelianenko, having recovered from the nasty cut over his right eye, which brought about the no contest ruling in the final of the heavyweight tournament. Interesting how he's moving in this fight, you oh, guys. Nice, nice takedown by And a soccer kick by Emelianenko. He may not have been moving in the corner before the fight, but he is definitely moving now. <laughs> Yeah, he's just sat like a statue when they played the national anthem, you know? I mean, I'm in the ring, you know, you, you move yeah. a little bit, but there's no movement. No so. motion, nothing. He's just stone there. He can bang. Man. The road to the final for Emelianenko began by eliminating Mark Coleman, then Kevin Randleman, then Naoya Ogawa. Little Savat kick there. Yeah. But you know what? He can deliver so much damage if he wants to Noguera, but you can never cut Noguera out. He comes back from the dead and will submit you. Nice kick to the body by Fedora. Noguera eliminated Hirotaka Yokoi, Heath Herring, and then Sergei Heratanov. Look at this, he just throws just him away. Just throws him away, you guys. Exactly, boss. And uh, we know, boss, that Noguera's lost a little bit more weight. He said he needed to be quicker in this rematch, Randy. He wanted to stick and move against Noguera, or excuse me, Emelianenko, but thus far it's been Emelianenko who is kind of toying with Noguera right now. He steps in and throws a nice hand combination and follows through to a huge takedown, just drops it. And, and then steps back again slips, to let him up. Slips away with Amazing. that one, though. Tried the third time to take him down the same way. And of course, a person who is watching with best of interest at ringside, Randy and Boss, is Mirko Krokar. Yeah, he really wants to fight Fiedo. Emilianenko, yeah, that's the way you pronounce it. Or Antonio Rodrigo Noguera, whoever emerges as champion tonight. Yeah, but he said that he really wanted to fight him. Yeah, but it's true. He, he said, said both. Also, yeah, whoever wins both. the title. Nice kick nice. down defense by, by Fedora there. That was, that was really nice. Whoa, look at that. Nope. Yeah. Stacking up, Noguera here is Emelianenko, but now in the close guard, now posturing, and this is where Emelianenko can be very dangerous, Randy, when he gets yeah. that distance. Starts launching those scud missiles at your head. Yeah, it's not healthy. Stop, don't move. Stop, don't move. 
And head referee Yuji Shimada. Stop the move, get up. Okay. <laughs> and they we had it before. are going to restart in the center of the ring here. Again, you can almost feel the intensity here. The Saitama Super Arena filled to capacity, a there. record crowd. The door backs out. He's, he's, Fedor is very active in this fight. He, he's moving around. Yeah, nice you notice shots. The, the bobbing and weaving, not used to seeing a lot of that movement from Emelianenko. And it's Noguera again. We thought he'd employ a different strategy, boss, but it seems again he's, he's forced to revert to what he had to do in the two other fights. Yeah, because uh, Fyodor also reversed his uh, tactics here. This nice. is not the fader we normally see. That's what I'm saying. So it's 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 again a case of Emelianenko who was uh, outsmarting Noguera right now. Yeah, but Noguera said also he had a new game plan. Well, it's but not it, working. It doesn't adapt to the new Igor. Nice Igor. kick. Igor. <laughs> yeah, they're Russian. <laughs> they all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's from Russia. He said from a distance, did Noguera, that he would feel comfortable with Emelianenko, Randy, but from in close, that that's where Emelianenko would definitely uh, cause him some problems. How, how do you feel about that? I, uh, the way I see it right now, he's having trouble getting Emelianenko at all. Yep. And there it is again. Every time they get close, he gets slung to the mat. But it, it, it's got to take a lot of power for uh, Emelianenko to do that all the time. Nice jab, stiff jab by Fedor. Oh, shot, boy! Emelianenko and uh, Noguera we know can take a shot, but that puts him on his back once again. Man. <laughs> the crowd's... The crowd sounded off on the on the sound of that one. I think Crow Coffee even flinched. <laughs> wow. Melianenko ended Noguera's first title reign at Pride 25 in March of 2003. And right now, he is in total control here. Noguera wanted this championship, wanted this fight so bad. We saw how utterly disappointed Boss he was by the ruling of the no contest at Final Conflict 2004. Is, is it a case maybe right now where he's just, you know what I mean, that nervous, and, oh, oh my gosh. The right hand. But he could take it, he could oh, absorb no, no, no. I don't know, he's dizzy, he's dizzy. Look at him, he's wobbling on his feet right now. There's a takedown attempt by Noguera, but no, desperation. He's still not recovered, he's still not recovered. Low kick delivered by Emelianenko, he's just sizing him up now. But you know what? Noguera is the same as Vanille Silva. He always recoups too, real fast. Oh, man. Left jab Put delivered his hand by down, bam. Emelianenko. And he's very methodical, you guys. I mean, it's perfect. Emelianenko, you, it just looks like, you know, okay, I'm just going about my business here. He's sticking and moving. He's a lot of. Yeah, it's like. Uh, giving no respect to Noguera's punching ability here. Noguera hasn't hit him one time. He just hands at his waist and is just teeing off. Nice Noguera <laughs> said he needed to be faster, he needed to stick oh. and move, and now he attempts a combination missing with the right, however. But they are standing more than we've seen in their other two matchups. Front kick by Fedora. <laughs> It's a stiff jab. I just want to say, it, even his jab is so they deliver shot. Nice shot to the body, too. He's really putting them together. Oh, and loading up with that right hand was Emelianenko. There's a middle kick. I'm going to deliver shot. Uh oh, a few more. Maybe he's been thinking and thought, you know what? I can't K home to the head. Let's work the body a little bit. It's amazing the punishment that Noguera has been able to absorb with some of the best guys, including Fedor, in these other fights and this fight. Oh. In this fight Head is just Mirko. snap back with that left jab. Yeah, you're right. I mean, but then again, will he pay the price later on in his life is the uh, question that remains to be unanswered because, man, he has taken uh, on an unbelievable amount of punishment. He's one of the toughest oh. guys in the business. Uh -huh. 
Look at us being quiet, huh? What a tension. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't want to blink. Into the, into the screen right here. Yeah, this is, I mean, you just are waiting for the next explosion. And look at Mirko Krokop. His arms are crossed. He is not moving his line of vision away from these two. No, I think Nogueira has earned. He uh, respects Millionenko Fedor's punching power a little too much right now. And uh, what do you guys think, Randy Abbas? Uh, a shoot attempt right now, I think, would be met with a nice sprawl, perhaps a knee to the head. It's it's really hard to hit a guy with a good shot when he's backing and up. There it the is. Doors. There's the shot. And there's the takedown. Beautifully done. And this is what Noguero wanted. He said, I want to take him down and one time work from his guard. Now it's going to be a half guard then, but that's, this was his plan. Did a nice job of using the corner, backed him up to the ropes there, bounced him off the ropes and followed through with the takedown. Yeah, when you said it, Mauro, I thought, you know, he's going to wait till round number two. Right. So and maybe Fedor is not going to expect it anymore, and then he's going to shoot. Right. And yet, you're right. He said that in the pre-match interviews that he was going to try to take him down because he wanted to show Emelianenko what it's like to be on the bottom. But and here it is, the first opportunity. Oh, and and the first right. round. It was an armbar there at the end of the first yeah. round. The same as with Merkin Krokop. He's taking some big shots, but he's no worse for the wear. He's got a bloody nose out of all that. I mean, the guy's amazing. No care. Wow. The thing is, Fedor moves so much. He's giving ground and then stepping in, throwing his combination and going through Noguera, but he never really stands and throws punches, which would allow Noguera to engage and then take him down. Whoop. Almost. Yep. <laughs> Look at almost the park on the seat. <laughs> Amazing. Big right hand follows through with the takedown, right back to his feet. Block. Oh. And he's then still again. Eh? Nice. Oh. Right hand. Saw the foot coming up. Yeah. Oh. Through that right hand, Riders Noguera through that tie kick. Oh. oh. Big right hand, single leg takedown, stays on his feet for Fedor. Man, that's about as big a right hand as you're gonna see in this sport. <laughs> Holy cow. And he and he received like four or five <laughs> of them, oh, at least. <laughs> Doesn't play. I think you uh, described it aptly, Randy, when you uh, called them scud missiles, and uh, believe me, they hit their target. There's a uh, Mirko Prokop, whose uh, left kick is similar to a scud missile yeah, as well. Yeah. And I remember sitting here at ringside for the Grand Prix final when Noguera took a few of those left kicks and had me cringing. Let's see what adjustments Noguera can make now, see if he can find a way to again get on top and take advantage of that top position. Maybe right away from the bell, bam, shoot in. He's got to catch the door, taking a forward step to be able to take him down. All right, after round number one, which was mainly controlled by Emelianenko Fyodor, we head into round two of this, the main event of Shockwave with the Pride Heavyweight Championship and the 2004 Heavyweight Tournament Championship at stake. A good takedown defense by, by Fedor. He was expecting that shot. Been impressed with how Fedor has developed, you know. When he, when he first saw him, he was looked solely to be a striker and just ground and pound, and now we're seeing him put together some submission skills and do some things. He's, this takedown defense is very impressive. Yep. It's interesting, though, you guys, that uh, Noguera, as he now goes in close quarters, he wanted to stick and move, wanted to be faster, but it looks like he uh, really does respect a million Enko. The second he stops moving his head, the door hits him right in That's it. That's it, and uh, again, nice oh, exchange there. Right straight, left hook, hook uppercut. Emelianenko, on the other hand, not showing a terrible amount of respect for Noguera's no. punching power. He's got his hands at his waist, for crying out loud. But the good thing
sometimes uh, uh, the good thing is if you have your hands at your waist, you pretty much know for sure that your opponent's going to hit your head. So you only have to pull back. You know? I do it exactly the other way around. I put my hands real high up, and I know to go for the body. But Maybe that's a strategy. I don't know. He's not getting hit in the head that much. You brought up a good point early on. There's some uh, good takedown defense. Oh. There's that knee we talked about earlier as well in the last round. But, Randy, you brought up a good point earlier that uh, Emelian Anko seems to be a lot more elusive, a lot more active in his movements in this fight. In and out, side to side, stick and move. Uh, a, a lot of footwork going on there. He's, he's doing a great job of controlling the tempo of this fight. And now Garrett doing a nice job of following the knee and jumping to the guard. He's like, I gotta get this guy to the ground somehow. And that's where he has him now. Let him oh, 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 see how yeah. easy that he, he, he escapes this. I mean, it almost looks like before Nogueira tries to put it on, he already escapes. Yeah, and he already knows what's coming. And his reflex is out of control. Look at that. There is no attempt. He doesn't escape it, he escapes it with ease. He's gone before it even gets put on. <laughs> It must not feel good for Nagari. It's got to be frustrating. Yeah, you can see the frustration just emanating from his body. It's all over his face, and uh, Fyodor Emelianenko continues to stick to what has been successful thus far. And you talked about making adjustments, Randy Couture. He's going to have to do them now. Nice takedown by Emelianenko. You this think, Randy, that if uh, Fyodor Emelianenko does emerge victorious here and has a date with Mirko Krokop, I mean, he's, he's going to have to obviously uh, change his uh, guard I, while standing. Oh, I think Krokop will get his attention in a real hurry if he keeps his hands at his waist. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Another Just triangle attempt. Side. So easy. Well, Garrett kind of holding the side a little bit there. Yeah, so uh, like he's hurt. He's done something. It's got to be a little disconcerting to have those punches coming from down at the waist level. We're not used to seeing him come from down there. And Nogueira tagged him with the right, and again, it was like a million ankle just swatted it away like a, you know, a fly. It's been all a million echo. Nice big, long, stiff jab coming from the middle ankle's waist. And that actually puts shoot. his hands in nice position for that takedown defense. Yep. Oh, that's probably it. That's hands probably it. His waist. It's, it's got to be it. How do you get under those hands to get to his hips to take him down when they're yep. at his waist? If his hands are down. I did this one time with a boxer. It was real fun. He put his hands down and he, he put his head forward. And he, like, hit me in the head. And I... Looked in his eyes and it gave him a right straight to the solar plexus. <laughs> and he went down, it was so good. See, so that's maybe the way Nogueira should try to do it. Keep looking at his eyes and then go full for the body, but I don't know if he can hurt Fedor. It looks to me like he's uh, in the Look at him, there's hammer the hammer, hand, hammer hands. Hands. Again, it's like the second time we've seen it now at the end of the round where some real damage could have been done either with the strikes or submission attempts and yet the bell goes, and after two rounds, it's like Fyodor Emelianenko's been doing whatever he wants to do at will, and Nogueira's still taxing the runway, Randy. Yeah, he's he's definitely struggling. You can start to see a little bit of frustration now in Nogueira. Um, Emelianenko has really controlled the tempo of this fight and landed all the big shots, and uh, you know, it, you can never, and I think Vossi said this earlier, you can never count Noguera out. We've seen it time and time again where it just looks like he's getting his butt kicked yep. and he finds a way to win the fight. Yep. There's that submission always looming out there. We'll see what happens in the third round. Yeah, but you know what, Fedoris, with Noguera, the more, like uh, Mirko Krokov, he got real comfortable in the takedown defense and he almost yeah, destroyed Noguera in the first round. He got too confident. He broke his his spirit, his, his concentration. I don't think that Fedor, <laughs> that you can break his concentration. Yeah, I'm, I'm questioning that myself. But, uh, I think you can light this table right here, and I he won't even look. I felt with Krokop it was more that Noguera made a little bit of an adjustment. He was trying to stay away from Krokop, 
and take him down. And it wasn't until he actually stepped in and engaged Crow Cop that he was able to get the shot off. Yep. And uh, and he's just not able to even catch up with Fedor in this fight to get that shot off. You know, in looking at the replays right now, you guys, it seems that Noguera has a better setup with the combination and misses, and it's like Emelianenko and just reacting is able to still connect and do damage. So it, it has to be frustrating for Noguera. It's almost like he's fighting a phantom out there. He's yes. unable to just do any damage. He's not landed a single hard shot to the head. Uh, when he has finally gotten the position that he wanted, he still wasn't able to really capitalize. Fedor had an answer for anything he tried. All right, we are going into the third and final round. This is the championship round. Two titles at stake, the 2004 Tournament Championship and the Pride World Heavyweight Championship, and they start in a flurry. Very nice trip take down there. Yeah, I, I thought that it looked like Noguera was maybe gonna step it up a notch and Fedor decided to answer. These are two pretty incredible athletes right here, these guys. No doubt about that, and uh, with the final five minutes now upon us, it's gonna come down to who wants those championships more. And really, you can talk about money, you can talk about the fame, but really, when it comes to being an MMA fighter and Randy Couture, you know it as good as anybody. It really is about just, you know, being the best that you can be for yourself, but also for your peers, and that belt has to mean everything. It, it definitely means a lot, and, it, and, and that's the thing, I think. You share it with a lot of people because you don't do this by yourself. There's a lot of guys that help these two right here get ready for this fight. And the world, and nice no now. here. And Nogueira really trying to open up on the bottom and find some way to get the Fedora. That was just the, steps out. Let's just walk away from it. <laughs> that was the closest we've seen to Nogueira being dangerous so far in this matchup. He kind of went to a normal Palata there and, and almost had it. Fedor said, no, I think I'll just stand up now. <laughs> yeah, let's walk away. Because my mother always said, if they want to fight you, you have to walk away. <laughs> yeah, you know, if uh, Fedor's going to win this fight, which it looks like... Oh, nice right here good. by Nogueira there. And there goes for the shoot, but look at Emelianenko. The positioning ends up in the butterfly. No, it's the open guard now into the close guard, but you're right. A nice right hand by Nogueira, and look who ends up... On top. On top. Yeah. But you know what? If he wins, Krokop would be a phenomenal matchup. Oh. Both great strikers. Or oh, Mark Hunt. Very good, too. But I would like to see a striker against Fedor. After what we've seen so far tonight at Shockwave, there is an embarrassment of riches when it comes to intriguing matchups to come out of tonight's event for the for the upcoming shows in 2005. I mean, Vanderlei Silva going down to defeat for the first time. Uh, you talk about Mirko Krokop emerging victorious in his rematch with Kevin Randleman. But here we have two champions unifying the Pride World Heavyweight Championship, and now they're turning Oh, up. nice knee by Fedor. And I think Mirko Krokop's got to be sitting on the sidelines here at the game. Oh, the guy's not just going to punch. He's got some takedown abilities as well. Yeah. And you saw him there momentarily in the shot at ringside. Definitely, there he is, watching. Oh, yeah, down yeah. by. Nice body lock. Just his clothes. You never heard of him in the Greco-Roman world? <laughs> yeah, where's he been? Yeah. Here we go, with the plot again. He's got to go fast now, no gear if he wants to win this fight. And he's got to look for a submission, which he's doing right now. Chance. But I bet you Fedor's going to sit up straight while he goes for that posture. Right up, we're going to step out of this again. And credit Noguera for the never-say-die attitude. He knows what it's at stake. He has the heart of a champion, but it's Emelianenko. Like a runaway train just constantly coming back at him. Noguera now looking for an escape here and probably trying to secure the left arm. Emelianenko, yes, there, there it go. is, looking for a good and just on. slips out. Every time. Same, same as she did in uh, with the first time when they fought. Exactly the same. Just powers out of it. 
And really now, with the final few minutes, you guys, he's not gonna knock out a million angle. That's a given. He has to go and try to submit. Oh, and a right hand, and a left. And look at him, he's still standing. And wow. another left. Those are not just left, no. Straight jab on the belt. Those are sledgehammer left hands being delivered yeah, left by straight. Fyodor Emelianenko. Boom. Wow. And let's throw him again. Oh. You are seeing two champions going right down to the wire in Fyodor Emelianenko and Antonio Rodrigo Noguera giving it all they've got. Fedor looks a little fatigued now. A knee by Nogueira. An amazing pace, this fight. <laughs> like lightweights, almost. How many times are you going to take a 230-pound guy and swing him to the mat? And now... <laughs> no Whoa, oh, look at that. A waist lock. Yeah, it's going to be the end of the round. Right hand now. It's, and there, there it is, the yeah. end of the fight. It was a struggle. Wow, what a For Nogueira. Fyodor Emelianenko, but again, like you guys said, for the heavyweights, they went at it tooth and nail. What a pace, what a fight. And I guess it's safe to say we're all in agreement that Fyodor Emelianenko will not only unify the Pride Heavyweight Championship, take home the crown, but I do believe he has a date with Mirko Krokop very soon. Let's go to the replay, you guys. Yeah, that was the Uma Pilata. That the attempt there. And then he's just walked away. Hey, Mauro, there's another Noguera. I, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> they, they, maybe it's a twin brother? And here we go with our decision. An unanimous decision for Fedor. As we suspected. Needless to say, a unanimous decision for Fyodor Emelianenko. And uh, Emelianenko is indeed the undisputed reigning and defending Pride World Heavyweight Champion in the 2004 Pride Heavyweight Tournament Champion. Antonio Rodrigo Noguera, valiant effort, but comes up short tonight. Had a great, uh, great set of fights tonight, top to bottom, a little bit of everything, and as usual, another great pride event. Ikohisa Minowa wins the $10,000, quickest uh, submission. Yep, that was fast. You saw that leg lock? That was unbelievable. Jump in, took him down, heel hook. All right, UFC light heavyweight champion, Randy the Natural Couture, thank you very much for your insight, my friend. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Have guys. a great year. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year to everybody back at home and in, and in Vegas. Yeah. Yep, All yep, right. Yep. Four.